Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called, Percy's Pandatastic Pizza Picnic. Enjoy it! Once upon a time, in the cozy town of Willowville, there lived a young boy named Percy. Percy was a curious and adventurous boy, always looking for excitement and fun. But most of all, Percy loved pandas. He had panda posters on his walls, panda stuffed animals on his bed, and even a panda-shaped backpack that he carried everywhere. One sunny Saturday morning, Percy woke up with a big smile on his face. Today was the day of the annual Willowville picnic in the park, and Percy couldn't wait to go. But this year, there was a special twist, it was going to be a pizza picnic. Percy's stomach rumbled at the thought of gooey cheese and delicious toppings. After breakfast, Percy hurried to pack his picnic basket. He carefully placed a checkered blanket, some napkins, and a frisbee inside. But the most important item of all was his panda plushie, Panda Pete. You're coming with me, Pete, Percy said with a grin as he tucked Panda Pete into the basket. With his picnic basket in hand, Percy set off for the park. Along the way, he hummed a happy tune and imagined all the yummy pizza he would eat. But when he arrived at the park, he noticed something was amiss. The picnic area was empty, and there was no sign of anyone else. Percy's heart sank. Had he gotten the date wrong? Was there no picnic after all? Just as he was about to turn around and head home, he heard a rustling in the bushes. Out popped Mrs. Maple, the kind old lady who lived next door. Percy, dear. You made it, she exclaimed, her eyes twinkling with excitement. Percy's face lit up. Mrs. Maple, is the picnic still happening? Mrs. Maple nodded enthusiastically. Of course, dear. But it seems like everyone got a bit lost. It's just you and me for now. Percy felt a pang of disappointment, but he quickly brushed it aside. After all, picnics were about fun and adventure, no matter how many people were there. Plus, he had Mrs. Maple to keep him company. Together, Percy and Mrs. Maple spread out the blanket and unpacked the picnic basket. Percy's stomach growled as he caught sight of the delicious pizzas Mrs. Maple had brought, cheese, pepperoni, mushroom, and even a pineapple and ham pizza. As they ate, Percy regaled Mrs. Maple with stories about his love for pandas and his dreams of one day visiting a real panda sanctuary. Mrs. Maple listened intently, her eyes sparkling with interest. After they finished eating, Percy suggested they play a game of frisbee. Mrs. Maple agreed, and soon they were laughing and running around the park, the frisbee sailing through the air. As the sun began to set, Percy and Mrs. Maple sat back on the blanket, tired but happy. Thank you for such a wonderful day, Percy, Mrs. Maple said, her voice filled with warmth. Percy smiled. Thank you, Mrs. Maple. I had a pandatastic time. And as they watched the stars twinkle in the night sky, Percy knew that even though the picnic hadn't gone exactly as planned, it had turned out to be the best day ever. The next morning, Percy woke up with a sense of excitement bubbling inside him. Yesterday's picnic may have been small, but it had been filled with laughter, fun, and unexpected surprises. Today, Percy was determined to make the most of every moment. After breakfast, Percy's mom handed him a letter that had arrived in the mail. It was an invitation to the grand opening of a new pizza restaurant in town, Papa Panda's Pizza Palace. Percy's eyes widened with delight. A pizza palace dedicated to pandas? It was like a dream come true. Eagerly, Percy grabbed his panda backpack and dashed out the door. He practically skipped all the way to Papa Panda's Pizza Palace, his imagination running wild with thoughts of panda-shaped pizzas and bamboo toppings. When Percy arrived, he couldn't believe his eyes. Papa Panda's Pizza Palace was unlike any other pizza restaurant he had ever seen. The walls were adorned with panda paintings, and the tables were shaped like giant pizza slices. 
And in the corner of the room, there was a life-sized panda mascot, waving and dancing to the cheerful music playing in the background. Percy's heart swelled with joy as he took it all in. This was definitely the coolest place he had ever been to. He approached the counter, where a friendly panda-faced cashier greeted him with a warm smile. Welcome to Papa Panda's Pizza Palace. What can I get for you today? The cashier asked. Percy beamed. I'll have the panda special, extra cheese, black olives, and bamboo shoots, please. The cashier nodded and quickly got to work, crafting the perfect pizza just for Percy. As he waited, Percy explored the restaurant, marveling at the panda-themed decorations and chatting with the other customers. Finally, his pizza was ready. Percy's mouth watered as he took his first bite. It was even more delicious than he had imagined, cheesy, savory, and bursting with flavor. Percy closed his eyes and savored every mouthful, feeling like the luckiest boy in the world. After finishing his meal, Percy thanked the cashier and headed outside, his belly full and his heart happy. As he walked home, he couldn't stop smiling, thinking about the wonderful day he had just had. But as Percy turned the corner onto his street, he noticed something strange. A crowd had gathered outside his house, and there was a buzz of excitement in the air. Curious, Percy hurried closer to see what was happening. To his amazement, there was a large van parked in front of his house, with the words, Panda Sanctuary Rescue, painted on the side. Percy's eyes widened in disbelief. Could it be? Percy's heart pounded with anticipation as he pushed through the crowd to get a closer look. Standing beside the van was a group of people wearing bright orange vests, each one holding a crate covered with a blanket. Is that what I think it is? Percy whispered to Mrs. Maple, who had joined him at his side. Mrs. Maple nodded, her eyes shining with excitement. It looks like the Panda Sanctuary Rescue Team. Percy's pulse quickened as he watched one of the rescuers carefully lift the blanket off one of the crates. And there, nestled inside, was a real-life panda, fluffy, black and white, and absolutely adorable. Percy's heart felt like it was going to burst with happiness. He had always dreamed of seeing a panda up close, and now here was one right in front of him. It was like a dream come true. The crowd erupted into cheers and applause as the rescuers began to unload more crates from the van, each one containing a precious panda saved from harm. Percy watched in awe as the pandas were gently carried into his backyard, where a makeshift panda sanctuary had been set up with trees, bamboo, and a cool, bubbling stream. As Percy stood there, surrounded by pandas, he felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over him. This was where he belonged, among these majestic creatures who had captured his heart from the very beginning. Percy spent the rest of the day helping the rescue team care for the pandas, feeding them bamboo shoots, and playing with them in the sunshine. It was the most magical day of his life, and he knew he would never forget it. As the sun began to set and the stars twinkled overhead, Percy sat back on the grass, his heart overflowing with happiness. He had discovered that sometimes, the most unexpected adventures could lead to the greatest joys. And as he looked around at the smiling faces of his family, friends, and the rescued pandas, Percy knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be, in a world filled with love, laughter, and pandatastic adventures. I hope you enjoy listening to Percy's Pandatastic Pizza Picnic.